Can you ladies see it? Okay, good. All right, I just wait for you guys, ladies to jump in there. All right, start soon. I think it's almost all of you. Okay, so I think we'll begin. Oh, someone dropped out. What happened? We're back. So like I said, if you can't, for whatever reason, play, you can still use it as a way to review uh, concepts and cell transports. This is based on the last two lessons that we did on the cell membrane, things getting through the cell membrane, roles of the cell membrane, active, passive transport, uh, different types of proteins involved in transport, you know, osmosis, diffusion, stuff like that. Okay, so I think we can start. Looks like it's leveled off at 22 players. So here we go. First question. Aha. Uh -huh. Without assistance, keywords. And the answer is oxygen. Wow. Wow. Most of you got that right. Very good. Gases can easily freely flow through the cell membrane. Very good. Cookie is in the lead. Next question. Look at the image. What would this be an example of? Facilitated diffusion, that's right. So a protein is required to help move objects in a direction they want to go, so it's passive. On double A in the lead, Samia right behind. Next question, what does this term mean?
Permeal means can go right through the cell membrane. Very good. All right, here we go. Next. Double A stone lead. Read these carefully, which the following is false. Yeah, definitely not smooth. It's got lots of things sticking out of the cell membrane. Next question, double A, trying to hold up some of here. What is A pointing to? In the diagram, what is A pointing to? Very good, hydrophilic end, all right. Next question. Best description of the cell membrane. Wow, very good. None of these choices. Yeah, it's actually in between the solid and the liquid. All right, wow. Okay, we got a lot of players doing well here. Which the following is not true or false? Yeah, it's not active transport. <laughs> Things are wanting to move. So you see the stuff is moving from a high concentration to a low, so it's not active, it's actually passive. So it wouldn't be active transport. That was a tough one. All right, quick question number eight. So on the one on the right is defective. What's the disease? Very good, see it, cystic fibrosis. I believe that was actually identified here in Toronto. That was a defect due to this transporter. All right, next question, double A, trying to hold on to the lead here. Number nine, not a function. Very good. Ribosomes make proteins, not cell membranes. All right. Next question. Look at this. What is the gray section? What is it not? What is it not? It is definitely not the... Yeah, that was the inside of the cell. So it was not the outside of the cell. Oh, we have a new leader. So is this true or false based on the structure? 
Look carefully. Oh, even split. I think what the tricky part is in this, so they have a picture of a cell that has a shape that looks like a plant cell would have, geometric. But if you look closely, uh, this has cholesterol and animal cells have cholesterol, not plant cells. So it's false. That was tricky. I had to really notice that. We have another new leader. Hello, or hi. All right, active transport. What is it? It's the best definition. Yeah, all choices are correct. Very good. All right, next. What function is being described in this image? Yeah, recognition. This is how a white blood cell would recognize something that's not supposed to be there. Next question, highest don't lead. Definition of osmosis. Yep, diffusion of water. All right. Hi, is still holding on here. Gabby's coming up. What is happening in this picture? What process is this depicting? Yeah, it's diffusion. You can actually kind of see the word diffusion, barely make it out, but it is there. That is definitely diffusion. All right, next question. Here we go. Number 16, which way does water move? Yep, so it moves towards the hypertonic side, which is the side with more solute or things that dissolve in water. Oh, I see ya. is in the lead. We have a new leader. What process is occurring in this image?
endocytosis. You can see the uh, cells about to swallow. It's probably some bacterial cell, I would imagine. Okay, next question. Hmm, what is this an example of? Yeah, that would be passive transport. Uh, that would be, uh, like, well, I can't tell you, actually, there's going to give you a hint, but I think that's the next question, actually. So I can't say anything. Which of all is not true? I was about to just give you the hint. Not true. Yeah, uh, this is a glucose transporter, which is passive, doesn't require any energy at all. All right, I was about to say that. Oh, we have a new leader, High's back. Why would they get this? 0.9% saline solution when getting IV fluids. Yeah, it's because it's the same salt concentration as their blood. So it's isotonic to their blood. Oh, back. We have her back in the lead again. This would be an example of... There's a hint in the bottom left corner of the image. Yeah, it requires energy. That little symbol on the, this one here means that it requires energy. So it's active transport. All right, next question. Season lead, cookies behind her, and height is in third place. What is this? What's the best description of this? Yeah, it's an NAK pump. The fact is, if you look in the picture, it actually tells you NAK. This is an NAK pump. All right. I think we have, what, eight questions left. See, he's trying to hold off cookie there. Okay. What would this red blood cell look like when you place it? This is what it looks like when you place it in it. What kind of solution? That's its normal shape. So when it's isotonic solution, that means it doesn't gain water, doesn't lose water. It's its regular shape. All right, next question. Cookie's in the lead now. True or false? Secondary active transport. Oh, 
most of you. Wow, very good. It is secondary active. The, this is the sodium potassium pump. So that will be the active transport. This is passive, so it will be secondary active transport. Very good. All right. Kiki's still in the lead. Oh, if you're just paying attention to what I said, you know the answer to this. Yep, it's a, if it's a pump, that means it uses energy. All right, there's six questions left. There are. Transport on the right. Yep. A sim porter is something that brings in two things at the same time in the same direction. If it was opposite direction, it would be called an anti porter. So this is a sim porter. Okay, the last five. This arena site was placed in NA or N. What kind of solution? Has it lost water, gained water, or none of the above? Yeah, it's all shriveled up, which means it must have lost water to a hypertonic environment. All right, we're almost done. Fourth, last question, which of the following is true. Wow, very good. Yeah, yeah. It's a sim porter, facilitated diffusion, doesn't require any energy, so therefore all the statements are true. Very good. All right, three questions left. Cookie's trying to hold on to her lead here. This is an example of? Hmm. Receptor mediated endocytosis. Remember the little receptors that stick out of the surface to be able to regulate what goes in to the cell? All right, two questions left. The winner doesn't have to go back to St. Joe's this semester. Obviously, next semester you do. But anyway, okay, let's go. Next question. Two left. Okay. What is true regarding this image? Hmm. Yeah, these sneaky little devils use receptors to gain entry into the cell. All right. So our last question. Cookie is trying to hold off a Sia. Uh, see what happens here. Last question. Which of the following diseases is due to a faulty receptor? in the cell membrane.
hypercholesterolemia. And the winner. Oh, wow, what a comeback. Sia takes first place, followed by Cookie and Samia. Very good. High and double eight as runners up. All right, fantastic. Okay, let me uh, let me stop recording here. Good work, girls.